Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this nice simplification math problem, which is 64 raised to power 4 minus 32 raised to power 5. So here we will try to find the value of this problem without using a calculator. Now here first of all, we will try to change these two bases 64 and 32 to its exponential form having 2 in the mass. So here we can write this 64 as, 64 can be written as 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and 32 times 2 is 64. So here 2 is multiplied 6 times, so this will become 2 raised to power 6. So 64 is equal to 2 raised to power 6, and here multiplying 2 5 times gives him 32. So we will replace 32 with 2 raised to power 5. So here we will replace 64 with 2 raised to power 6 and 32 with 2 raised to power 5. So this equation will become implies 64 is equal to 2 raised to power 6 or raised to power 4 minus 32 is same as 2 raised to power 5 or raised to power 5. Now here in these two terms we will use an exponential math property a raised to power m or raised to power n. So here we will use this exponential math property in both the terms a raised to power m or raised to power n which can also be written as a raised to power m times n. Now using this exponential math property here this equation will become this implies we will write the base and we will multiply the power so 6 times power is 24 minus the second term will become 2 raised to power 5 times 5 is 25 so this will become 2 raised to power 25. Now, next we will try to make these two numbers the same so for that we will try to make the pow their power same. So here we will change this 25 to the sum of 24 plus 1. So next we can write this equation as 2 raised to power 24 minus 2 raised to power 25 can be written as 24 plus 1. Now here in this one term we will use another exponential math property a raised to power m plus n. So here we will use this exponential math property in the second number a raised to power m plus n which can also be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Now using this exponential property here this term will become this implies this will become 2 raised to power 24 will be the same minus and this will become 2 raised to power 24 times 2 raised to power 1. Now here 2 raised to power 24 is common in both the terms so we will take it out common from both the terms so this will become let us take 2 raised to power 24 common so here only 1 will be left minus here 2 raised to power 1 which is simply 2 is left. Now next we can write this 2 raised to power 24 as 2 raised to power 24 can be written as 20 plus 4 times here 1 minus 2 gives him minus 1. Now here in this one number we will use this one exponential math property a raised to power m plus n and we will split these two powers 20 and 4 over 2. So this will become 2 raised to power 20 times 2 raised to power 4. So 2 raised to power 20 times 2 raised to power 4 times minus 1. Now next we can write this 2 raised to power 20 as 2 raised to power 20 can be written as 10 times 2 times what is the value of 2 raised to power 4? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16. So multiply 2 4 times gives him 16 times minus 1. Now here in this one number 2 raised to power 10 times 2 we will use this one exponential math property a raised to power m times n which can also be written as a raised to power m or raised to power n. So using that exponential math property here, you will out this 2 from 2 raised to power 10. So this will become 2 raised to power 10 whole square times 16 times negative 1. Now what is the value of 2 raised to power 10? Here we will replace 2 raised to power 10 with its value. So here 2 raised to power 10 is a very famous number that we mostly use in our videos. So here 2 raised to power 10 is 1024, 1024. So here we will replace 2 raised to power 10 with this value. So this equation will become the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 whole square times 16 times negative 1. Now next we can find this square value of this number using two different methods, two different ways. The one way is to we can write this 1024 whole square is 1000 plus 24 whole square. And we will find out this value using a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. This is the one way to solve this square number. And the second way is to solve this number is to write and multiply this number 2 times. So here we will use the second way to solve this problem. So here we can write this as 1024 times 1024 
times 16 times negative 1. And next we will change here this number to the sum of 1000 plus 24 and we multiply this number inside that number. So we can write this next as 1024 times we can write this number as 1000 plus 20 plus 4. This is close times 16 times negative 1. And here we can easily multiply this 1024 inside these three numbers. I split 1024 to the sum of these three numbers. This is because to easily multiply this number with each of these numbers. So here first we multiply this number with 1000 then with 20 and then with 4. So let's do this multiplication here. So this will become 1024 times 1000 is 1024 times 0 is 0. 1024 times 0 is 0, 1024 times 0 is 0, and 1024 times 1 is 1024. So this will become 4, 2, 0, 1. So the product of this number times this number gives him 1,024,000 plus 9 multiply 1024 with 20. So 1024 times 0 is 0, and 1024 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is so this gives him 20,480. We we'll multiply this 1024 with 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. 6 one will be carried. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. So this gives him 2096 times 16 times minus 1. Here we will try to add up these three numbers and then multiply that result with these two numbers. So let us add these three numbers. So we will start from the ones position. 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 0 is 17. So 7, 1 will be carried to this number. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 0 is again 5. Comma. So in my dress here we make a mistake. This is not 2. This is 4. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So here this is 8 not 6. And the remaining digits will be the same. 2 plus 2 is 4, 0, and 1. So the addition of these three numbers gives him 1,048,576 times. Now here we can write this 16 as 10 plus 6 times negative 1. Here I change this 16 to the sum of these two numbers because to easily multiply this number inside with these two numbers. Now next we will multiply this 1,048,576 with 10 and 6. So here first we multiply this number with 10. So this will become this number times 0 is 0 and this number time 1 is this one number. So this will become 6, 7, 5, 8, 4, 0, 1. So the product of 1,048,576 times 10 is 10,485,760 plus we will multiply this number with this one 6. So this will become here 6 times 6 is 36. So 6. 3 will be carried, 6 times 7 is 42, 42, 2 plus 3 is 45, so 5, 4 will be carried, 6 times 5 is 30, 30 plus 4 is 34, so 4, 3 will be carried, no, 6 times 8 is 48, 48 plus 3 is 51, so 1, 5 will be carried, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 plus 5 is 29, so 9, 2 will be carried, 6 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, comma, 6 times 1 is 6. So here the product of this number times 6 is 6,291,451 times 1. Here we will add these two numbers and finally we will multiply negative sign with that answer. So let us add these two numbers. We will start from the ones position. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. So 1, 1 will be carried to this number. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So 2, 1 will be carried to the next number. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, this will become 7, no, 9 plus 8 is 17, so 7, 1 will be carried to this number, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is again 7, comma, 6 plus 0 is 6, and 1, times, minus 1, now multiplying negative 1 with this number, it will become negative, so our final answer will become 16, negative 16 million, 777,000, 216. So finally, minus 16 million 777,216 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem.